Hello and welcome to my channel today. It's a very exciting video, which is exactly what I said in the last video that I posted, but I also just filmed that two minutes ago and I am just so stinking excited. I'm so thankful that I was able to go on this trip, that it was planned. I basically didn't have to plan anything. I just kind of booked my flight and showed up. It was great. <laughs> traveling with people you've never met before and also just traveling for the first time with people can go one of two ways. It can either be less than ideal or it can be the most fun you've ever had in your entire life. And honestly, we're in this category. Traveling with other people sometimes can be hit or miss because everybody likes to do different things, right? We somehow all ended up liking to do mostly the same thing. And honestly, the way that this trip was planned was so ideal. I wasn't originally planning on vlogging whatsoever for this trip because I had never met these people before. I didn't want to put a camera in somebody's face if they didn't want to. I didn't, I didn't want to be intrusive in that way. I didn't want to have to worry about it. So I just uh, wasn't, I wasn't, I just wasn't. <laughs> However, we all, I was laughing so hard because when we went to the first bookstore at McKay's, we all sat outside of McKay's and all just stood there and took a picture of the outdoor for its room because we all are bookstagrammers. And it was just so funny to me that we all just kind of looked around at each other and we're like, yeah, okay. I've always had the experience of like being in a group of people in which nobody really wants to take photos other than one or two here and there. I wasn't really planning on making any content for this trip really other than pictures for myself here and there. And then I turned around and we were all taking pictures and it was just great. So I totally get it. Like if you're wanting to fully live in the moment and go and not have to stop every two seconds that before you walk into a store kind of thing like that can be annoying however we were all doing it and so it was just like it just matched up really well so on top of that we're all just a bunch of introverts who love to read so we built that into the schedule so I wanted to go ahead and quickly explain the itinerary as we went in because again I like got clips here and there at the beginning but I didn't explain a single thing that was happening because I wasn't really intending to at that point um in full transparency so we all arrived Thursday we got there like kind of later around dinner time and so when we got there Chelsea and Zara had a giant spread of our little like goodie bags and welcome things and like there was a blind date with a book there and there were a bunch of stickers spread out and I was not prepared for that I knew that she was going to do something but I wasn't quite sure what it was and then I walked into that it was pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life we proceeded to open our blind date with the books and we all redecorated our kindles which you may or may not you can't look at me and tell me that's not so cute and it was also just really fun because I over the last year discovered my true true love for cowboy romance um i say that and it's really more a love for elsie silver but ultimately it's a cowboy romance love right which if you're new here um first of all hi uh, my name is bailey nice to meet you subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram i'm absolutely obsessed with cowboy romance if you can tell by my front and center elsie silver stack that i love and cherish um and that feels fairly on brand for me however it was so fun to just be amongst a group of people that we're fully committed to the bit and we just got to have a fun little themed weekend. It was great. If you're a reader, one of the things that you probably have experienced in your life is feeling very alone in that hobby because first of all, not everyone reads. So meeting other people in and of itself, sometimes it's kind of hard locally, but then also that hobby happens completely inside your mind. So no matter like how much fun you have with it, it's harder to share that fun with other people, A, because of the structure of the hobby itself, but B, just because it's sometimes hard to connect with other people locally. So by meeting friends online, which for me came in the place of starting on Bookstagram, it's completely changed my life. And just to be able to meet people in person, it was such a great time. But back to the itinerary. So Thursday night, we all got there, we arrived, we opened our little swag bags, so stinking cute. And then Chelsea bought a certain little game. I don't know if you heard of it. Um, It's called Cards Against Prithian. I have wanted to play Cards Against Prithian for so long. And just showing up there and she had it, I... I felt like all, every single dream I've ever had was coming true. Like I'm trying to be all fun and dramatic, but it truly was one of the most fun and just like wholesome and relaxing. A lot of times I feel like when I go on vacation, it's fun, but it's a lot of work. This time I felt, I came back and I was just like, yeah, that was great. <laughs> like it was, it was great. So Thursday night we played our cards against Prithian and it was the most unhinged time. We have our little spy bags and then I don't remember how the subject came up but Chelsea had briefly mentioned the Akamath chapter 54 fan direction. I'll link in down below. However, it was so we were we were laughing so hard. It was amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend watching that. It um 
it was great. So we laughed, giggled, had a fun time with that. And then we played Cards Against Prithian. Friday morning, we woke up, we went to breakfast. We then proceeded to go book shopping at six different bookstores. I have never in my life hit six bookstores in one day. I've never been in a city that even had six bookstores. We then came back and read a few hours before our putt-putt reservation. And we went and played putt-putt and I had so much fun. I was the biggest loser. I, no one could beat me at losing a putt-putt, just saying. Saturday we woke up, we went to snooze, we went and got some breakfast, we came back and we just read our new books all day. And then we went to our hockey game, we came back and we sat around, we read a little bit more, we just chit-chatted, we goofed around. We didn't actually play Cards Against Prithia, but we looked through some of the cards. And if anyone has an idea on how to play that game virtually, let me know. I just want to play it forever, but I don't know anyone here locally that would want to play it in a big enough group. I feel like everybody deserves a chance to play Cards Against Prithia. It was so fun. Um... And then Sunday we woke up, Sarah's flight was pretty early, so unfortunately we didn't get to see her on Sunday, but Mimi, Maddie, and Chelsea just kind of sat around, and then Chelsea drove us to the airport. We got rid of her rental car, and that was that. Chelsea had been reading Kingdom of Ash all weekend, and we did. I didn't want to be all up in her face trying to get a, um, her reactions of the emotional horror that was that book. Next time I will, so sorry Chelsea, but I did get a clip of her talking about how horrible it really was but yeah we just kind of like laid around went to some bookstores did a couple fun things but ultimately just chilled and it was so much fun i hope that you get a chance to have whether it's whatever hobby it is that you're doing if you obviously like books whatever it is i hope that you get a chance to meet people that also enjoy that hobby and then to be able to meet them in person it was just it was the time of my life and i can't wait we will be going to charleston here in a couple months later this summer we found out the three of us have july birthdays and there will be an interest form so if you're interested in going on a trip with us later on in july i'll leave a link to how you can find out more information on that below and yeah thanks for watching and let's get to it This is everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> Yo, that charged. Checks out. Checks out. Why is there so many? <laughs> These copies in the entire world. <laughs> I feel like a lot of them are older and they need to do cover redesigns because mm. like, I've heard a lot of good things like a, a lot of things about other books that are good. Mm -hmm. That was way too hard to say. Uh, but I'm not gonna make him up because I didn't. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Can you touch me? <laughs> I've been looking for you. Here you are. <laughs> I've been looking for you. 
Hello. Hello. I feel like I want to read The Night Circus, but I'm also kind of afraid of it. And I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Like, don't tell me why there's a fear. I feel like I have weird expectations around that one for some reason. Yeah. Like, it's been on my list for like years. God, I'm not alone. I also really want to read this. Like, so bad. I don't even know if it's urban. It's like in New York City and it's like no, a it. magic something or other happens. I don't know. Neil Gaiman blurbed it. Because I like drop it. I just started the third <gasps> book of this. Oh my gosh, that's the hardback? Audio. What number is that? I think this is the second. Is it the third? Do I need that? Maybe. I think I do. It's 550. Like even if I don't get the rest of them. Okay. Have you have you read? No. I heard nothing but really great things. I just need to do it. I think I've read the first one and then this one, and both were very good. And then I just started the third one. I'm into it. I'm in it. I'm not the rest of the series. Good stuff. They're magicians and stuff. It's like Harry Potter. There's magic in it. <laughs> That's very funny. He's brilliant but miserable. Can you imagine well, being brilliant and miserable? Mm -hmm. What yeah, a tragedy. I am. <laughs> okay. Like, just like, do it. Yeah, she had one that was all like, of the ones that they said were pretty mild. It was the ones that you were saying that were like, yup, that, that. <laughs> well, that it was very one, specific scene. And when you told the story about My Killer Vacation, yeah, that was so funny. I had to explain the. Have you read My Killer Vacation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to the explain. Entire. It's the worst thing I've ever read. It, no, she you're so right. I'm so right. Yes, oh my god, I forgot about it's all of so that. Bad. And also, can we talk about how I probably brought blocked that out honestly. Um, no, it was bad. I do not like a pursuit. Like I don't I don't like it. And I just read it again. <laughs> Oh, those are cute. 
What's inside? Why is it so big? What's I inside? Assume, <laughs> I mean, is there anything else inside? I you what's what's inside? Shut up. I want to look at you. Why What's inside? I can't see you. Shut up. <laughs> I think there was a big bag. You would think there was something else in there. Maybe that's an inside bag to catch us. What happens? That's fall advertising. Oh, happiness. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> I said, what happens? It was happiness. What is it? Yes. I don't know where I'm I just like, I don't know. I can't with the shoes squeaking. That's like a little much. Did you guys read this? What is that? Yeah, no, not yet. Uh, excuse me, mine's in the car. It's mine. You cannot name three. I worked so hard. <laughs> what? Yeah. Case? Oh, there you go. Fight me. I don't see it. Yep. It's, it's like it's not here. No, it's not in the it's room. Giving, um, it's not in the room. Um, what's the short little woman from The Incredible? Edna. 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 <laughs> That's worse. That is Edna. No, I'd actually rather give Edna. Edna more. Edna's giving. See you next Tuesday. Not. The point. No, nope, that's not it either. I like them. <laughs> Maddie said those are cute. They're kind of cute. You look good on her. Thank you. <laughs> I love that you're just holding the phone backwards. Like, completely wrong. <laughs> oh, these are not it. This is the real behind the scenes content we were wanting. <laughs> yeah, because this video gets posted. We're just like, what was happening there? Hello. Have a great time. <laughs> not Chelsea posing. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is really cute. It's really cute. It has a little scratch to it. Don't look at it. Okay. Is it intentional? I feel like it's a no, no way. No, there, you can tell there's a little like. <laughs> there was a lot of passion put into scratching that. Mm -hmm. That was like. Production. Somebody just like, oh, sorry. I'm like, listen, this is on the floor. I'm going to scratch here, here, here. Not the post production. Oh, I think they're looking for a book. What are we looking for? Uh, I, I'm looking. She just, she really just said, I'm, I'm looking, looking relaxed. Looking for relaxed. And they see a book. A book. I thought, I thought that was a point. <laughs> We're here for books. See the attitude? You notice uh, the attitude from both I of them. Know. I don't think both of them are. Got some nerve. Hey, we're too old for this shit. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. It's, it's, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> I said what I said. It is super bedtime. Okay. Did you read the series? I did. Thoughts? Yeah. I like it's it's good. Like, it's good. Like, I have the first book and I haven't read it. If it's fun and like, and I think I just don't like how it ended. Yeah, you know what? That's I good. don't know that you would like how it ended too. In a certain sense. Like the, the exact thing that happens, you're like, yeah. okay, <laughs> okay. And you know what? But I will not like be reading it. <laughs> it is a fun like. I feel like I have something. Have you read these? I'm not. Hope is so good. <laughs> yeah, that's the first book I read. She gives her a hand like this. Oh, I was like, oh wait, what's this? Okay, so this one I don't know which one is. I don't know what kind of retelling this one is. It might be. I think the first one I hope is really good. Just really good. Okay. I still 
No, I don't like this cover. I want the other cover. I don't like this cover. Okay. This looks <gasps> That's the Indian um, one. I'm gonna just sadly yes. put this back, by the way. Why? I read it and Chelsea's all like, Do you read it? No, I didn't read it. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> cut. Uh, oh, this is like the office. Stop. <laughs> I have been begging you to read God of Breath for freaking ever. I'm not even going to talk about this Okay, you know what I'm gonna read when we get home? Not what are you gonna read? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I swear to God. She's procrastinating because she doesn't want it to end. Listen, this is the Kingdom of Ash face to start with. <laughs> Your tears just like streaming down. <laughs> just slowly. Into the scrambled eggs. Into the scrambled eggs. <laughs> like, is it actually funny anymore or are we just delusional? <laughs> oh, no, it's funny. Yes. It's funny. Who, who did you tell that to? <laughs> she, she hadn't have told me. She hadn't have told me because I didn't get that message. <laughs> Exactly zero promises. Sorry, no, no. We made the I wouldn't promise to not. And I even are. And I believe. I've never been in the way a day in my life. Oh, it's weird because I've How really felt like I've been in the way since the day I was born. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? Actually, I don't feel like that at all. You can go around it. I think. I'm so like oh, I'm in the way, and Chelsea's like. <laughs> Move. I need to see. I'm trying to look. <laughs> These are national. Um, based in Nashville. This one. This series. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I was gonna. It was on my TV. No one picked one. That's why. Okay, like, good. No, we all didn't read it, right? No, cool. Sorry. No, I'm just like, double checking. There wasn't one for me. Oh, we didn't like officially pick one. No, so no, no, no. that's the only one that we were like, oh yeah, that's cute. And then that was the one. And then we never did you read it. it? Did no, anybody? Did. Okay, nobody read it. <laughs> But I didn't know if we were, like, actually picked it. You like, know what? Like, I was like, I, one that we all were, like, so yeah, but then, like, no. When Chelsea finishes Kingdom of Ash, Ash that's the it'll be book. book. I'm oh. so sorry. It's super soft. When Chelsea finishes Kingdom of Ash, it will be fully discussed. It will be a class series. I'm okay with throwing a glass book up. Yeah. Yes, throwing a glass book up. That's perfect. Are you gonna buy? I don't know. <laughs> Just, like, a big me in the corner. <laughs> I love that you guys are vlogging this experience. Like, I'm 100% here for this because I don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> the time I wasn't going to. Um, to and I feel like I have more upload to encourage me <laughs> So, I love that for you. And I did watch your videos. I watched, oh, well, you know yes. I watch your videos, but I watched yours too. So good. I literally watch them as I'm like getting ready for bed. I'm like, okay. Oh. I'm hanging out with Bailey before I, I go to them at work. work. I actually did my job. Okay, you want a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> I like, like it. I'm okay with a cookie. Chocolate you know, chip, peanut butter? Yeah, I like, I like both of those. Okay, I love a peanut butter cookie. That's but she, but she doesn't want to cookie. smell like a peanut butter cookie. Because <laughs> well, that's very the different. Target. They have a thin mint wine. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. the native. Like, they they smell washing. disgusting. They're so gross. Okay. Oh, look, you know, I kind of I like that. Like, no, open up her suitcase, thin mint body wash. I have half of body wash. I don't think I'd want to smell like a thin mint. No. I have. Oh, is it good? This is the white cheese, but this is the But is it good? You didn't, no, that's not, the, that's not the question I'm going to answer. <laughs> but I'm not answering you. It's good. Yet. <laughs> but is it good? You again. Uh, you again. I'm looking at you, you again. You, you grabbed it twice. I know. In the last one. So I should just get it. Probably. I feel like if you want somebody to tell you no, we are not the people. No. no. I just tried I tried to convince you to buy like three hundred dollar cowboy boots. You did. So. <laughs> Some of them were five hundred dollars. Yeah. Three twenty five, three hundred dollars. That's like my favorite that. kind of. And the thing was Thanks. they were used. What? They were vintage. They were used. They were used. <laughs> That's just as good to say someone else's foot is doing that. <laughs> Some of the leather was peeling. I'm like, why am I spending $300 on this? They had a prior life, but you were paying for that experience. Unless fucking Dolly Parker sold yeah. for them. Like, <laughs> 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 
It all blurs together. All right. In the best way. But it's the bride. The level of interest that I have in Bride right now, like I just want to read it out. Pause. I have to finish. We can't read it yet. I have can, to can finish Kingdom of Ash. Obviously. Can we please stop? Yeah, and I have to read fucking Icebound. What? What is? It's an art. It's an art. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a hockey place. team based in Nashville. Oh, cute. Um, I'm bringing my Kindle with me to the game, me like just too. for that, like just for the picture. <laughs> just for the me picture. too. I'm really excited for the hockey game. I'm super excited. I've never been to like a pro hockey game before. No, me either. Basketball Bobby. and football. Uh, no. Yes, but not not pro. Hockey was like a really big I have not been to basketball hometown. or football. I've been, I've been to We're going to hockey, damn it. <laughs>
long time no see I have come to the realization that I have filmed exactly zero check-ins of any form any context anything that would require a tripod because I did bring a tripod in hindsight kind of not my finest moment however a windowsill kind of works anyways I wanted to give a quick little reading update because that is what we do here so when I very first met Maddie one of the very first books that she had started reading was The Unmarked Twitch by Miranda Lynn I have taken this long to finally read it which is both like I'm both ashamed but also glad because now I get to have that experience like it's never it's never too late to read things and I feel like that's a fun time also it's currently very it's currently fairly early in the morning it's really early in the morning and also I need to get ready for the airport so if you see tears drying on my face because the trip is over that's why anyways I started the unmarked witch I didn't quite realize it was like a trial situation there were trials um I knew about the witches, obviously. What I didn't know about was the shifters. And I feel like that's a very, I don't know, it's interesting to see the two in this world together. Um, we have men our love interest. I suppose he's love interest. And um, he has wings, which is, you know, fun. So that's cool. <laughs> I really am enjoying it so far. However, um, we went to a hockey game last night. It's currently Sunday and I'm getting ready to leave and everything, which is very sad yet again. Um, we went to a hockey game last night and I really just like wanted to be, you know, in the mood. I wanted to feel festive. And so I started looking up novellas that were shorter that I could read because we spent most of the day reading before we went to the hockey game. And I figured I could finish a novella in that time. So um, I may or may not have been, I don't remember what it's called in the, I'll leave it here. Um, it's the novella before Pucking Around which I had kind of briefly said that I would never read it because it is so spicy, but like also went in wrong. I'm also very easily influenced. When you have two people on a trip saying that you need to read it, obviously, what am I to do but read it? So I'm like, I want to say like 12% into the way of that right now. Um, and it's fun. I'm not sure when I'm going to go back to it because I do want to go finish The Unmarked Witch before I finish that one, I think. However, I'm having a good time. Also, I'm in the middle of literally so many fantasies right now that I need to finish them. However, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I'm having fun. It's a great time. So back to the novella. I literally was reading it. And I usually pace myself with the percentage on my Kindle, like as to how far things are going, as to like where I think my thoughts are going. If I'm getting close to the end, I'm kind of mentally preparing myself for the end. Well, there are five, I think five chapters of Pucking Around, like an excerpt of that in the novella. So it's 64%. It was magically done. It was over. I wasn't ready. It was not where I wanted it to end. Um, I wanted everything to be together and happy and fun and not that intro for that book. So that was cool. <laughs> but yeah, the novella was fun. Having a spicy good time. Reading all my spicy books with all my friends. So that was cool. It has been raining most of this weekend and it's been so nice. Like, it's really just been, it's been fun. It's been pretty. The weather has been nice. In terms of like, it's not been super hot or anything. We got an Airbnb. It's a townhouse and every floor has at least one bedroom and a bathroom. But for every bedroom, there is a bathroom. So we all had our own bathroom and nobody had to share anything. We got to like retreat to our floors at the end of the night. I feel like the introvert dream trip has been this trip. And I am just, I'm very thankful to have gotten to go on it. I'm thankful that I'll link all the gals below, but um, it was planned for me. I just kind of had to show up and be here. And I got to meet all of these people that I had been friends with for so long and actually get to see their faces. And it was just, it was fun. Would fully, like fully recommend a gal's trip um, with all of your book friends who 
want to devote at least a day to reading, a day to just book shopping, and a day of just hanging out. It was very cute and I've had fun. Also, it's so fun to be able to like meet your actual friends, you know? Like you can talk and text and be friends online all you want to, but when you meet them, it's just so much more fun. Like we literally have been doing nothing but giggle this entire trip and cue the giggling. Those are my tears actually, never mind. We literally last night stayed up until like 2 a.m. Just giggling, chit-chatting, and giggling some more. <laughs> like, I feel like all of our personalities blend pretty well, which is, like, interest aside, I feel like all of our personalities blended really well, and it was just so fun to be, like, obviously you're gonna be nervous coming to a trip with people you've never met for the first time, but I felt like once I met them, I didn't really meet them. Like, it was just continuing the conversation, which was fun, and yeah. I'm just thankful, I'm grateful, I've had a great time, and I don't want to go home, but unfortunately... Bag is packed. I must strip the linens and it is time to close out this trip. However, I will be doing a book haul of all of the things that I got in Nashville because I kind of got myself in trouble with doing shopping. I told myself that I was going to get a maximum of one book at each door, but that then turned into a book at each door, which is fine because I haven't really, other than House of Flame and Shadow and one other book, I haven't bought any books really this year. So I kind of have been stockpiling my haul, if you will, for now. And I call that balance. <laughs> Content? I looked up. I'm more of a spoiler. <laughs> I looked up at Maddie and I said, what is his name? <laughs> and she said, oh. <laughs> it hurts so good. So you, you don't even need to reread it to cry again. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna film the podcast episode uh -uh. without stopping our eyes. We're both just gonna be a fucking wreck. <laughs>